Game 38 on tap. It's the finale with Bourne. And our catch of the day today is Daryl Matthews, sophomore out of Cal. Daryl, the college season for Cal was a little bit of a Cinderella story. This is a team that wasn't even expected to get out of the regional, did so, then beat Cal Baptist in the Super Regional, went on to the CWS. Describe that feeling as the team went all the way to Omaha. Oh, it was unreal. I mean, um, just the ups and downs we had this season, you know, getting our team cut and uh, being able to bounce back, work hard all year with our guys and be able to do, go to Omaha, you know, it was really, it was really special to, um, to be able to live, you know, so. See if I can pinpoint a particular moment in that regional. I think it was Fullerton that you guys were playing, but ball gets hit over the second base spot, and the broadcaster just goes nuts. And it was on every Bay Area radio station. I don't know if you yeah. caught up with that. Yeah. But a uh, buddy of mine was on the call, and you were actually, I think, on the bases or hitting mm -hmm. at that time. Uh, what was your role in that kind of come-from-behind win? Mm -hmm. Well, we were, actually, we were actually playing Baylor, and it was uh, the last game of the regional. Um, it was bottom of the ninth inning. We were down four runs, and uh, – or no, no, three runs. I'm sorry. And we ended up scoring four to win it. So uh, – Basically, the, the, the moment you were talking about was, um, I want to say, second and third, two outs, and our, our uh, number three hitter, our first baseman was up, and he got a base hit into right field, and that scored two runs, and we ended up winning the game on that, so it was a walk-off. So uh, it was pretty emotional, man. It was, it was, it was, it was a roller coaster of a game. Um, I, can't even, I can't even describe that feeling. It was, just, it, was, it was awesome. It was awesome. Daryl, you, along with Evan Marzilli, also the UNC guys, didn't all show up on time because you were all in Omaha, and I know it uh, was – uh, an issue for this team that they weren't able to have the full staff on board until late in the season. But once you got here, you had to also adapt yourself to the surroundings and also swing in with the wood bat that we see now. Talk about uh, your approach at the plate along with the wood bat. Has it changed at all? Because um, I know the BB core bats that they introduced in college this year, people say, are just like wood, so they don't need to change much. Mm -hmm. um, they're similar, I would say. I mean, they have less pop than um, the aluminum bats of years past, but... Uh, I mean, it, take, it definitely takes some getting used to. I mean, um, I came out here first week or two and struggled pretty hard, man. Um, I, 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 I guess I was just too long at the plate or whatever. I mean, there's some guys throwing some pretty, pretty fast fastballs here. So I mean, um, I showed my showed my approach, and I've been you know having success lately. Um, so yeah. Pretty good summer overall, though. You go to Omaha, and then you come out here to Chatham, and we don't have many bad days out here. I don't know if you've noticed. What's the best thing you've done in Chatham away from the diamond? Um, I would say go to the beach. I mean, we've, we've, we haven't had many off days. We've had one or two, but I mean, um, the few off days we do, um, I've, been, I've been to the beach a couple of times and it's, it's beautiful, man. There's not, there's not many beaches around where I'm from. So, I mean, it's, it's cool to see this part of the country. This is my first time being out here. Yeah, originally from Concord, California, and also uh, have been in the Midwest in some part of your life, I know, as well. What is it about being in Chatham that you enjoy so much this summer? Um, I would have to say the people and just the overall atmosphere, you know, the people here are just awesome. I mean, I didn't expect it coming out here, like I said, for the first time. Um, everybody's just so welcoming and, you know, just proud to have us out here and, and represent the city of Chatham. And it's an awesome city, honestly. So um, I'm, I'm, I'm glad to be a part of it. Daryl, last question. Chatham's kind of on the outside looking in right now as far as the playoff bubble in the Eastern Division. What is your approach going into the next seven games? Um, just play hard. I mean, we've, we've been doing that all season. I'm not saying we haven't, but uh, we've let a few games get away from us, definitely. Um, mistakes here and there, uh, not executing when we need to, whatever the, whatever the cause is. Um, but, I mean, we just need to play hard, just like Coach has been telling us every game. So uh, if we do that, hopefully, hopefully the chips will fall our way and hopefully we'll sneak in the spot. Thanks, Daryl. Daryl Matthews, the rising sophomore at Cal. My name is Chris Fitzgerald. This has been your catch of the day before game 38 against Bourne on the Cape Cod Baseball Network.